Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will see the most important installation issue which we are facing currently in Aviva 2023 softwares. Before going for installation, we can open the readme file and verify the supported operating systems and MS uh, SQL versions and release softwares. Okay. Just go below, you can see all the released uh, software packages included in this software and you can see the ms sql 2000 supported which is not supported versions and if you go still below in this one the readme file you can find all the supported versions of windows you see you can see windows 10 windows 11 21 h2 windows 11 22 h2 okay and also if you open the installation guide you can find the same things which uh, having supports for windows 10 and windows 11 so close this one and i will currently i am going to install uh, the setup file in windows 11 21 h 22 version so just i am trying now to install the software see my my my, uh, my version it's showing here windows 11 professional and if I go, there is two options, product base and from the product base, you can select which product you need. If you go for platform based, you can select uh, complete platform or all in one platform historical separately like this. So I will go with product based and from here I will select only for in touch HMI currently. You can select what you need for your installation and I will select for communication drivers and Aviva enterprise license platform and I will give acknowledge for this and once you see here you can see all the installation things if you need you can go here for customized installation also and just click uh, English and select uh, agree the license and you can uh, give here any of the names like you have to give the account privileges or you can use the local account currently I will give any accounts like SA and I will give some password this password should be have uh, privileges huh? because you need to not give simple password you have to give something like difficult password like with uh, one caps small and also some numericals and special characters everything otherwise it will not accept it will not it will give you error immediately otherwise you can use your local computer but local computer you don't need to change the password so you need to see your pre-request you have to install all the softwares but uh, when you are installed, it will be installed automatically. So now I am updating the system. So it's, it's installing the software. See, it is installing Microsoft Visual Studio and uh, .NET everything automatically. Uh, once, uh, because I make little bit forward because uh, the installation will take lot of times. See, now it is installing Aviva Watchdog. See, now I got error. This error, it is telling that watchdog service failed to start. Verify in sufficient privileges. Okay, but there is no, uh, all the privileges already before installing the software, you need to make the privileges. Example, security, you need to make properly and uh, disable the firewalls, everything. See, now I am installing, going to install .NET uh, version, but set up failed because I already have some other version in this la laptops. So what I will do in the control panel, I will uninstall all the softwares and again, see here I will uninstall all the softwares .NET and everything because it is new version. So again, I will start with installation with that same package by manual and I will try again. See now uh, it's going to Aviva data store. See now I got again another error. This is called Orchestra Data Store. Okay, because this, this is telling that verify your sufficient privileges to start the system service. But my sufficient privileges is okay. But the problem in the .NET and also the uh, C, uh, C plus files from this control panel. Now what I will do, I am getting this error in Windows 11. So I will start with Windows 10 now. The same setups everything okay once I started the setups 
in the Windows 10 in my virtual machine. It is starting now to install all the files. So we can see now the result. Because uh, this will take lot of time, maybe it will take like 30 to 45 minutes to install the complete package. So I am installing the same setups here. I am selecting the drivers, everything. And just I will give the start and I will give the username password. Because this username password you can give whatever it's required but it should be same. You don't need to change later but you can change later in, the, in your configurator. Aviva configurator. See now I am uh, it is installing all the files but in Windows 10 it's uh, this watchdog timer and data store error. It's not appeared because uh, this one fully tested by Aviva. Okay but in Windows 11 still there is some issues we are facing until now see i am installed the software in the same which they told before no? uh, windows 11 21 h 22 or windows 11 22 h 22 this is a, a built os built but i installed i tried more than five or six times even i reformat the complete computers and i tried but it is not working with the Windows 11 currently. So we are expecting Aviva should fix this issue in .NETs. And also we will see now for configuration of this. Uh, see the, now the Aviva is installed completely. And now I am checking the license issue, license manager. Here you need to go for license uh, platform. That is enterprise manager. Aviva Enterprise Manager. From here, you need to activate your license. Here, you need to add the license which you have received the XML file. So, I will explain this everything on later videos. Similarly, for uh, Aviva Plan SCADA also, we are facing some issues, but they released some updates. They updated in 2023 up to 11 updates. If you install the 11th update, you will not face the problem for licensing otherwise if you use the aviva plant scada 2023 without update you will face a lot of problems for installations and also for uh, licensing everything so you have to always keep updated with the updated patches for 2023 still we are facing this windows 11 installation issues I think they will solve soon but uh, I will update you on the next videos for these things once we solve the issue for uh, installations. Thank you for watching this video. We will see on the next video. Thank you.